ball is Rudy up right there's the score <laughs> he drops it it's a fumble the man picks it up he's going he's going he's going he's at the 10 he's always oh, still at the one yard gray cup week in regina the biggest party of the year and the setting for a north-south battle that would go down in the record books over 100,000 fans swelled into the small prairie town to be a part of Grey Cup history and to have the time of their lives. To the loyal throng, this wasn't Calgary versus Baltimore. It was Canada against the U.S., us versus them. For the players, it was the culmination of a hard-fought season and a chance to attain a goal that every player dreams of. On the 30th anniversary of the Win Bowl in Toronto, stinging prairie gusts blew into Taylor Field tilting the pregame edge to Baltimore with its strong running game. But it was the special teams that drew first blood. The Stallions were three up, three down in stopping the Stampeders on their first possession. And when Calgary punted, Chris Wright shot up the middle for a record 82-yard return for a touchdown. Calgary came right back with two Mark McLaughlin field goals before the first quarter ended. Early in the second, the Stampeder defense chipped in with some points as Will Johnson grabbed a loose ball and rambled 35 yards to the Baltimore three. On the next play, Calgary moved Marvin Big Daddy Pope from rush end to receiver, and he connected with Flutie to give Calgary a 13-7 lead. Carlos Huerta kicked his first of five field goals for the Stallions before Alfred Payton blocked a Tony Martino punt, and Alvin Walton recovered for a touchdown. Suddenly, the Stallions were ahead, 17-13, a lead they would never relinquish. Huerta added a couple more field goals, including a record 53-yarder to take a 23-13 lead at halftime. After Baltimore punter Josh Miller scored a single, Flutie took the Stampeders downfield on an 11-play, 75-yard drive and took it in from the one to narrow the score to 24-20. While the Baltimore special teams handled the first half scoring, the offense struck with a touchdown when Ham scampered 13 yards to cap off a 92-yard drive. The Stallions were in control, and Huerta added a couple of more field goals to salt it away. While Baltimore was hailed before the Grey Cup for its running game, it's interesting to note that the Stallions actually presented a balanced attack with 213 yards in the air, 150 along the ground, and special teams making up the difference, the Stallions scored a decisive victory and opened a new chapter in the storied history of the Grey Cup, a story that will be continued in Hamilton in 1996. The definition of radical to depart from the norm to stand up for what's important with courage and passion the definition of canadian not american it's time to stand up and get passionate about your country its traditions its future one of these great traditions is football played the way it was meant to be radically canadian the canadian football league it's hard hitting it's longer wider faster football every game is an event a party more importantly it's our game and we won't change it for anyone the cfl radically canadian and proud of it now you too can be a radical canadian by wearing radical hats t-shirts Shirts, sweatshirts and golf shirts all from starter canada get radical from only 19.99 call 1-800-817-4cfl these items aren't available in any store the only way you can get radical is to call now dare to be different get radical be canadian the canadian football league it's radically canadian call 1-800-817-4cfl now well, which phone are we going to use anyone you like how about that one Maybe this one. That one's nice. With 1-800-COLLECT, you save the people you call up to 44% from any phone. Oh, I love that one. I love that one. I love that one. <laughs> who should I call? Anybody who enjoys saving. My mother's quite thrifty. Dial 1-800-COLLECT, the number you're calling, and say your name. Ma, I saved you up to 44% almost all by myself. 1-800-COLLECT. Learn it, use it, save up to 44%. Next week, you solo. When you create the perfect pepperoni pizza, it's hard to say goodbye. Let it go. Mm. Little Caesars, three kinds of pepperoni and 300% as much of it. Eight ninety nine carried out. Pizza, pizza. Or have it delivered. No, stole it. Oh, yes. Knew that play. Knew it. <laughs> hey, Earl, buddy, what's happening? 
Mikey Clemens. Hey. Uh, hey. How you doing, Earl? Good, Good to man. see you, buddy. Good All to right. see you. I'm here with a couple of my pals, man. Yeah. This is Derek Greer. Derek, what's happening, bro? And this is my right. partner in crime, Jimmy the Jet Cunningham. Jimmy, how you doing? Jet, yeah, I watch you all the time. This doing? is cool. Yeah, we're just going to go out on the field. We're, you know, getting ready for the season, getting all pumped up, all ready to go. So, going to go out and throw the ball around a little bit. Uh, Foxcroft is around me at my job, you know. Oh, don't worry about Foxcroft. Yeah, I mean, we old buddies. And I know Foxcroft anyway. He won't fight. He won't mind at all. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. This is cool, man. <laughs> um... Can I bring you for a couple autographs, guys? Really? Is it cool? We'd love to. All right, yeah. Mike, uh, keep, uh, this is great. Okay, do it, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Hey, Derek, don't go away, man. You're next. Earl, how about the lights? How do we turn the lights on? Uh, Mike, I, you know, I don't know, man. Foxcroft, you know, I'm, this is my job. Oh, damn. Look, look at that guy. Go. Oh, wow. Hey, this is all. Hold it, hold it. Hold right there, all right? This place is closed. This is a private practice. Now, get out. Well, pinball schools come well, here. You all throw the ball around a bit? Are you guys ball players? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, Mike right. Morelli. Uh, Earl, good to meet you. Hey, Earl. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Okay. Uh, listen, before you guys go in the field, can I, uh, <laughs> can I get a couple autographs? Sure. No cool. Problem. Uh, just get signed right here. Right there? Yeah, right there. All right. This is cool. Here you go, Earl. Thanks a lot, guys. Get out. Take care. Go have a good practice. He's good. Take care, Earl. Yeah. Pick teams. Let's go. Think that's fair? Age against you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. I tell you what, they may have a slight advantage, but I don't think it's anything that we're really worried about. We want it. We want the challenge. We we'll accept the challenge. Okay. Very so, good. Then. Very good. We take off. Let's go, baby. I think we fished yeah. him. Great. Look at him. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. He's in spike. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Come here. What's Come up? here. What's going on here? Oh, Pinball said we're uh, got a game of football here today. Oh, man. Oh, you guys. What am I gonna do? Are there any more of you? Oh, I don't know. He just said a couple guys. No problem. Guys, just kind of like, you know, make your way onto the field. Like, really cool, you know? <laughs> Thanks. See you guys later. Uh, is that Willie Fish? Yeah, he's coming out, too. <laughs> Willie! What's going on, baby? Man, what a pass that was. Oh, this is great. Oh, man, I'm having a great day. I can't believe this. Hey, excuse me, are you Earl? Yes, I am. Hey, Earl, I'm Danny Cuppy. I'm one of the commentators with the uh, CFL. Okay. How you doing? Yeah. Hey, okay, listen, Pinball called me up last uh, night. He said, listen, he was going to get a couple of the guys together yeah. out here to practice. Uh, okay. I thought I'd come down and, and do a little practice of my commentating, you know, like okay, preseason our, our, stuff, okay? Uh, I don't know. Tell I... Earl, Earl, now look, I'd like to introduce you. Now, this is our network director. This is Mr. Peter Rowe. Director? Yeah, how are you? Hi, I just want you to know I do a lot of voices and stuff like cool. I do. Oh, I, I do a lot. I, I'm, uh, let me do one for you. Okay. Uh, how about Sean Connery? No, yes, I, it's absolutely fabulous. Money, money, penny, money, penny. I do James Cagney. Hey, we're just going over to my Johnny Rat. Thanks, Earl. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Come, see you later. Right. Hey, Mike. You Homer hey, Simpson. Yeah. Gee, Mike, you left me all alone here. Don't. <laughs> Ben, how are you doing? You ready yeah. to go? Yeah, we're okay. Ben, the season starts June 23rd. Hey, okay, okay, okay. keep your shorts on. We're ready. We've got plenty of time, okay? Okay. okay. Three, we got two, one, and action, Dan. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another great season of Canadian Football League. Been a lot of tremendous changes taking place in the offseason, and with that excitement, it, well, come on, it's just my first time, okay? We, we'll do it again, okay? Once again, here we go, and the second time here. It's okay, it's okay. Let's go again. Three and two and one, action. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the 1996 Canadian Football League season. It's been an off-season of tremendous change, and with that change, creates a lot of excitement in the league. The Grey Cup last year, it went south. It went to Baltimore, but it has been returned to Canada, and particularly to Montreal, and the Alouettes have been reestablished. Montreal, a city great in tradition of football history. And if you like offense, and you like quarterbacks, and you like excitement, tune in for the 1996 Canadian Football League season.
see the world's most advanced minivans. The big store has the new 1996 Caravans, the world's most advanced minivans, totally redesigned with doors on both sides and more. So come in now this week today and see why Bruce Campbell Dodge is the big store. He's different than all the rest. Bruce Campbell Dodge. Bruce Campbell Dodge, now more than ever the big store on Telegraph, just south of Five Mile. Help develop your child's self-esteem in a non-competitive environment at Miss Peggy's Kids Fitness Center in Livonia. Celebrate your next birthday at Miss Peggy's. Choose from a variety of activities customized to meet your interests, each full of fun and fitness. Party packages include party room, personal invitations, and much more. Parties book up fast, so call Miss Peggy's Kids Fitness Center today at 810-615-9317 and see how much fun fitness can be. stars in the world's most popular sport come to play in your backyard it's the first of a new league MLS on ESPN New England Revolution versus LA Galaxy Thursday at 10 the whole world is watching action Pinball told you to come down. Hey, wait. Pinball told you to come down, but you got to sign in right here. Okay, okay, girls. Hold it right there. This is getting a little out of control. Wow, what a really neat shirt. Where did you get that shirt? Look. Yeah. Okay, Danny, you ready? I think you're Whether you are or not, we're going. <laughs> Eastern Conference. Three, two, one. Eastern. The Montreal Alouettes will head up the Eastern Division, led by new head coach, last year's defensive coordinator, with the Baltimore Stallions, Bob Price. But this is a team that will not rely solely on defense. They bring with them the 1995 Grey Cup MVP, Tracy Ham, to run the offense. And he will be throwing to two terrific receivers, wide receiver Chris Wright and the slot back Chris Armstrong. Not only do they have a great passing game, but a terrific running game. They picked up Mike Saunders, the fourth leading rusher in the CFL last year from the San Antonio Texans. Moving west, the Ottawa Roughriders are looking to rebound from a horrific season in 1995. Coach Jim Gilstrap has a few surprises up his sleeve. The signing of Iowa State, last year's starting quarterback for the San Antonio Texans, David Archer is the key. Completed 458 passes for almost 4,500 yards and 30 touchdowns. You team him up with guys like Billy Hess, Eddie Brown, and Robert Gordon, they can put a lot of points on the boards. Big things can happen in Ottawa in 96. And he will score! Archer to start a touchdown! Good there, and go Toronto. To Toronto, where the fans there had not been this excited since 1991 when Matt Dunnigan led them to the Grey Cup. Back in charge as head coach for his second time is Don Matthews. In 17 seasons in the CFL, Don Matthews has been involved in 10 Grey Cups in one way or the other. At the helm, the trigger guy. Doug Flutie, four-time MVP in this league. Couple him with one of the most exciting running backs in the league, Michael Pinball Clements. And then arguably with the fastest guy in the CFL, Jimmy the Jet Cunningham, and it will be a blur in the Toronto offense. And look at the Jet go! Bob Cameron is the long man back, no shot! Jimmy Cunningham's gone! No flags! 100 yards! Touchdown! Hey, there's Pinball. Let's find out what's going on here. Pinball, what's happening here? Oh, just a few guys getting together, getting stretched out, getting ready for the season. Can I join? Absolutely. The guys would welcome you. What I want to know is with Doug Flutie joining the team, how do you feel the offense is going to change? 
I think it's going to be a productive, a wide open, I guess, is that we're going to be, I think, a lot of passing wide open all the time. It's exciting football. Uh, we're going to have the ball up in there and produce some points. With him, all the things he can do on the football field, we're going to be an exciting team to watch and wide open and a lot of offense. So we can be expecting a very exciting season from you guys? I, I think that'd be safe to say. And he is gone! Touchdown! Ivan Wynn Stadium, this beautiful facility and home to the Oski Wee Wee Hamilton Tie Cats, will play host to the 1996 Grey Cup. Arch rivals up the road, Toronto, and Doug Flutie come here to battle another great CFL quarterback, newly signed Matt Dunnigan. Matt Dunnigan, who chases Ron Lancaster, head coach of the Edmonton Eskimos, for honors, all time leading passer in the CFL. Matt Dunnigan was ranked number one last year with Birmingham with an incredible 4,911 yards throwing the ball. Derek, 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 oh, oh, I have to grab you for a second. <laughs> it was a shoot, but... What effect do you think Matt Dunnigan is going to have on this season? Well, Matt, um, hey, he's a great quarterback. Um, since I've been here, this is my fourth year. He's been on a winning team every year. Um, he has Grey Cup experience, and that's that's the focus for us. We're trying to get to the Grey Cup, especially because it's right here in our own house. You guys have really picked up a lot of uh, great new talent. Um, how do you feel about that? Well, again, I'm ecstatic about it. Uh, you know, we did in the dispersal draft with all the, the American CFL teams. Uh, we picked up some very, very good receivers and a couple of running backs, a couple of defensive backs. Uh, I think that the, the, the CFL is in for a great, great year of football, and, and uh, I think our young players will, when it comes to getting into the playoffs and getting the Great Cup, we're going to have to be right there. The East Division will establish itself as a division of air battles with key pivots at every position. Folks, let your curiosity get the best of you. Longer, wider, faster, it equates to one thing. Tune in to Canadian Football League. Jesse, you're next. I'm all yours. Save it for the stage, Romeo. <laughs> Carol always gives it to me straight. Like when she told me about my... I told him about head and shoulders. Regular shampoos just rinse flakes away so they could come back. Head and shoulders helps prevent flakes from even forming. You see the difference? You look great. Thanks, but will it get me this part? Couldn't hurt. Head and shoulders, because great hair can't have flakes. Hey, break a leg. They say America's schools aren't up to the challenge. They say no one is providing the kind of education students need to succeed. They don't know about ITT Technical Institute, where skills in electronics and other technical fields aren't just talked about, they're taught. Find out more about ITT Tech by calling 1-800-942-0099. ITT Tech, it's an education that works. How do you keep track of everything that happens in the world of motor racing? You drive with us. RPM Tonight, the ultimate wrap-up of the day that was in the world of motor racing. Tonight at 7, only on ESPN2. Let's go for the west. You ready for it? All right, let's go. Okay, three, two, one, and go for it. Then. And we start at the home of the 1995 Grey Cup, Saskatchewan. 
Saskatchewan Rough Riders has a new head coach this year in Jim Daly. But Jim Daly is no stranger to the Rough Riders as being the defensive coordinator for the last two years. Warren Jones returns at the pivot. He leads an offense that is led by receivers Ray Elgard and Don Narcisse. Both those receivers got a little help with the dispersal draft with Curtis Mayfield coming over from Shreveport and picking up Odessa Turner from the Ottawa Rough Riders. The Calgary Stampeders lose Doug Flutie, but just as he did last year when Flutie went down with the elbow injury midway through the 95 season, Jeff Garcia just steps in to take over the number one spot. Garcia completed 230 passes for over 3,000 yards, and a lot of them being thrown to two key guys coming back again, Alan Pitts and Dave Sapungis. And 3-2-1 Edmonton. And just up the road from the Calgary Stampeders, 150 miles, their main rival, the Edmonton Eskimos, led by head coach Ron Lancaster. CFL Hall of Famer and one of the best quarterbacks to ever play in the CFL. And speaking of quarterbacks, Ronnie Lancaster has a new one. Danny McManus picked up in the free agent market from the BC Lions. Known very well for his lead to victory in the 1994 Grey Cup against the Baltimore Stallions. Danny McManus threw for 19 touchdowns and over 4,000 yards last year. But the big thing, when you talk Edmonton, you talk defense. Led by Willie Pless, CFL Defensive Player of the Year in 1995, Leroy Blue, Larry Ruck, and Benny Goods, these guys will get the job done for the Edmonton Eskimos. <laughs> I need to talk no, to you. No, no, please, please. We gotta finish this game. Come on, guys. What can we expect from the Edmonton Eskimos this year? Touchdown, touchdown, <laughs> touchdown, touchdown. I think our main thing this year, we're gonna have a better offense. Uh, with McManus coming in, he's gonna have a lot of weapons. Uh, we're looking forward to it. Hopefully, he can keep our defense off the field and, and make some good things happen for our team and put points on the board. The BC Lions playing out of the terrific BC place. Does this name sound familiar to you? Listen to it. Heisman Trophy winner, University of Houston, Andre Ware, the starting quarterback for the BC Lions. Andre Ware? Andre Ware, the starting quarterback for the BC Lions. And also, new head coach, Joe Pow Pow. This guy's no stranger to the CFL, having been the starting quarterback for both the BC Lions and the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Where we'll have an explosive backfield with return guys, Corey Philpott and also Sean Millington. And going into BC for his second term is Ray Alexander, who was acquired from the Ottawa Rough Riders. Now, with these guys in hand, BC should have a very competitive offensive team. Their big key right now is to replace some guys on defense and see if they can stop anybody from scoring points. And finally in the Western Division, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, led by head coach in his ninth season, Cal Murphy. Free agent signing, new guy at the quarterback position, Ken Austin, who quarterbacked the 1995 Toronto Argonauts. You pair him up with the best inside receiver in the Canadian Football League, Gerald Wilcox, and also newly signed Michael Richardson in the backfield. That should equal, in the equation, the points on the board. Folks, let your curiosity get the best of you. Longer, wider, faster, it equates to one thing. Tune in the Canadian Football League. Wendy's crispy chicken nuggets are all white meat, and now you get five for only 99 cents. I see a lot of you getting them for your kids. Then I see eating their nuggets when they're not looking. Come on, buy your own. Get five Wendy's chicken nuggets, now just 99 cents every day. Hey, you. Ah! Want to get this Motorola pager? Yeah! Okay, first do this. Then send in 35 bucks and 10 proofs, and you'll get this. Yahoo! Plus six months of free airtime from Mobilecom. But that's not all. Wink. Wink. That's right. Each week, you'll get beat for great deals on fabulous stuff yeah. like this. Tommy, tell them what else they can win. A new car. Join us again soon. Do the do. Get the pager. Join the network. Hi. We're not home right now. We just got a new jet ski STS watercraft. We'll call back just as soon as we get home. The jet ski STS. It's got all the power, handling, and stability of family needs. Visit 
Universal Studios Florida and experience Dynamite Night Stuntacular featuring Kawasaki Jet Ski Watercraft. Question. What do you do with an empty hockey arena? Roller Hockey International. All the action. Hold the ice. Oh, you mine, boy. Oh, yeah, you coming. Hey, what are you talking about, my sister? <laughs> my man, I'm going to bust you dick. <laughs> <laughs> I should I'm supposed yeah. to tip that one up. <laughs> Foxcroft is going to can my... Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh. Hot dogs! Hot dogs! Get your hot dogs over hey, here! Hey! Hot dogs. Hey, you! Come here. Hot dog here, buddy. What do you think you're doing? I'm saying hot dogs! Crush I know. Hot dogs. I know. How much? I'm from Mr. Bailey here. <laughs> we have Bailey worried about them knees. Right, jeez. <laughs> Mr. Foxcroft. I'm, I'm checking my schedule here, and I, on this schedule, I don't see people. Um, no. Nope. I don't see football. Mm -mm. I don't see a party. Mm -mm. And Earl, when I look out here, I see football. Yeah. I see people. Mm -hmm. Earl, I see a party. Yeah. And, and Earl, I look out and I see a reporter. <laughs> What a great idea this was. Well, isn't it? You know, Earl and I, we spent a lot of time putting this together. You know, you just can't put an event like this together easy. And, and Earl and I, we decided that uh, we were going to do something like this because, you know, Hamilton is an aggressively friendly city. Go! Go deep on it, Dave. All right, good. Hey, 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 what are you doing? If you want to run a football game... <laughs> Get him, Dave, get him! Or, or run a party. Come on, come on, pick it up. Or put an event on. You want to do it in Hamilton. Hey, this is what I miss about the game. I'll see you later. Captain, get back here. Earl and I, we, um, we did a lot of work putting this thing together. Now, it seems like it. What does it mean to the city of Hamilton to be hosting the Grey Cup? Hamilton Tiger Cats were in the Grey Cup the last time it was in Hamilton in 1972. Who could ever forget Ian Sunter kicking the field goal to beat the Saskatchewan Rough Riders in 1972? And we're, we hope, in fact, we're, we're almost certain in 1996, the Hamilton Tiger Cats are going to be in the Grey Cup. With all the ups and downs that have been going on in the CFL, what do you think it will be like this year? There's a new revitalization in the CFL. The CFL, there has never been so much excitement. Hey, thanks, Earl. That was a great time, but tremendous. Oh, man. no yeah. problem, Mike. This is this is the best day I've ever had. Oh, look, Earl, you got smuts on your shirt. Man. Oh, I do. Take this. Put this on. How you like that? Wow! Oh, right, for right. me? Yeah. For me? For you. Thanks, Mike. Right, Gee, thanks. thanks. Thanks Listen, a lot, man. Thanks. Listen, I got a couple buddies coming in from Texas over the weekend. I'm going to give you a call, okay? We'll come down. Okay. okay. Call me, Mike. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks for the shirt. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> This is our network director. This is uh, Mr. Peter Rowe. Director? Yeah. Hi. How are you? How are you? I, I just want you to know, I do a lot of voices. I'm an actor, you know, like... Uh, really? Mm -hmm. You dirty rat, I ought to tear you apart. Uh, uh, how about, uh, oh yeah, this one. This is Sean Connery. You know, I didn't yeah, study that track. Fabulous. fabulous. What we got we to get doing here. Thanks very much. We'll yeah. talk to you in a bit. Thanks. We're going to hey, go talk to Pinball. I, I can do Bob Gagolway. Okay. Okay. Really, Appreciate great. it, buddy. I'll, I'll okay. do a great Good. Bob Gagolway. Come back here. With all the changes going on in the CFL, all the ups and the downs, how do you feel uh, this year's going to be? This is terrific. You know, in, in Canada, we have never seen an excitement like we've seen with the CFL. It's kind of like it's been revitalized. Uh, we've, we've got good teams. Um, the, the word in the CFL this year has been stability, and, and we're concentrating on stability, entertainment, family entertainment and you know there's there's a new excitement it's like there's been an injection put into Canada and and for the first time in in many many years you get people from all walks of life talking about the CFL and we in Hamilton we can't wait to bring on the Argos the hated Argos <laughs> 